Sirhan shares his secret to success. And makeup must-haves, beauty products to add to your routine to hydrate and enhance your skin. Plus, Lauren Kelly is chatting with the stars from Amazon Prime Video's new movie, The Map of Tiny Perfect Things. Live from Studio B and KPRC2. Houston Live starts now. Hi, everybody, and welcome to Houston Live on this Tuesday, February 23rd, 2021. Courtney, it's great to see you. Oh, it's great to see you, my friend. And you know what? It's even great to see Tex. Special guest here I in know. Studio B. It's been a minute since Tex has joined us. And during the pandemic, we haven't seen a lot of him over the past year. But Texie, we miss you. He's and still sleeping on the set. He's still, I know. Oh, look at that. I know, sweet baby I think Tex. maybe we should just be silent for the next hour. Okay. We could just watch Tex okay. sleep. We miss him so much. <laughs> he did get a, a different haircut a while back, and then recently he got another different haircut. It's amazing how a, a, a haircut can affect the way a dog looks. 100%. Yeah. He looks totally different. He looks uh, kind of like a lamb to me, kind of, like a sleeping little lamb. It's, he's like a little lamb chop or like a ferret. I wouldn't, I wouldn't say it's a bad haircut, though. <laughs> he's a cutie. I he's, know. He is he such is a good job. such a great boy. Well, it's a good thing he has um, this coat, because after last week's freeze, I know a lot of us still feeling like we're thawing out. Isn't it beautiful outside today? The last two days, amazing. It's been so great. I can't wait until work is over so we can get outside on the trails. But for a lot of people last week, though, we know that a lot of people really did not have a good go of things. And remember how I was saying I was making a list of everyone who we knew without, like, water and power? It's everyone. Real, yes, we realized it's pretty much every single person we know right. lost power, water, and lots of them have busted pipes. And what's super annoying, our, our producer Olivia, we showed video, she and her husband Chris had that flood at their house because of a busted pipe. So this week, a lot of people are, A, trying to find a plumber, dealing with insurance companies, and finding themselves in the middle of renovations that they didn't want or ask for, right? Right, or plan for, right? Yeah. How are your friends doing? Randy and Sarah, they They're had good. a busted pipe. They did have a busted pipe. They're good. It's been fixed. And so that that was capped very quickly. So they're good. But so many people are just struggling. And quite honestly, when that happens, when you're dealing with a renovation, maybe you think like, oh, well, I can have the master bath of my dreams. You know, you start going down the rabbit hole. It, completely. I can put in that water slide I've always wanted in the front yard. Exactly. Or the jacuzzi in the living room. Well, here's the thing. So we found this really great Instagram account. If you are are needing to distract yourself from all the weirdness that's been going on in the world in 2021 in Texas so far this year. Have you heard of Zillow Gone Wild? I haven't. Zillow Gone Wild. I kind of went down the rabbit hole on this one. So if you're looking for some home inspiration, this account, you got to check it out. Look closely at that. Is that a house? That's, that's not an, a house. It's an actual house. This is not a Photoshop job. It is actually that <laughs> Wide? Narrow? <laughs> yes. What? Is it a fence? No. Oh, look, it's a fence oh, and a house. <laughs> it's a fence and a house in one. <laughs> How genius. So the inside oh, of this, wow. I, I guess it gets wider as you go farther to the right side of that house. But this account, what it is? has more than 800,000 followers. <laughs> and so there are uh, new and unusual homes like the one you see on the screen. There's also that. What is that? Um, well, it's just a mansion with a moat. Oh. So there you go. No visitor. Check oh. this place out. Where is that? So that's Jalisco, Mexico. And oh. so, and this one too, they have that's a lot. That's where my grandfather was from. Are you serious? Yes. Maybe that was his house. Are no. you in the will? I hope so. Oh, I no. hope that's your new house. <laughs> so you can swipe through and see these homes. This is in Springville, Utah. Courtney, I figured you would appreciate this. Springville is south of Salt Lake, right? Right. Where there's a lot of open land. I think homes this big. What do you do with are that? Are kind of obscene. I, d I don't know. To me, it looks like a maintenance project. This one, look closely in the corner. Do you see what that is? <laughs> is it a, it's what a, is that? It's a fireplace floating above the floor. No. It's like four feet off the floor. Very odd. This, it's for real. This stuff is for real. Guys, I'm telling you, 
Zillow gone wild. You gotta follow this account. This house, Pleasanton, Texas, it, I didn't think this house was actually finished. You gotta sc scroll through and see. I think, you know, the owners of that house. <laughs> they got bored? <laughs> Look in the backyard. What? Oh, the house, from the front it looks completely done and from the back it's demolished yeah it's just kind of fun to take a look inside other people's homes so um check out the account and and very yes. odd you know i'm sure there's a lot of realtors out there that would say you know when they go or listing a home or showing a home when you go and look at some you know you're walking through someone's home and you find weird pictures or you know, if you're just shopping, home shopping, yeah, well, there's some weird things. Some realtors will spin anything, though, to make it work. I remember when I was in seventh grade, we were shopping for a home, right? And, you know, middle school is awful, but we were sort of in transitional housing, let's just put it there. And my mom, I remember going to this appointment and looking at this home, and when you stepped, the home said it was like a three-bedroom home, right? Okay. When you stepped in the front door, one of the bedrooms, you were actually stepping into the bedroom. So in the foyer, foyer? In, yeah, but it was kind of nice because, you know, the, the realtor had dreamed up this whole idea where you could just put a shower curtain up there. Well, for, it works. For privacy. It does, but, you know, it wasn't a three-bedroom. Have you ever had a weird feature in one of your homes? No, I, I'm trying to think. Uh, I'm sure there was something weird. I, 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 don't, I don't know. I, don't, I remember just seeing, like, people would leave their personal photos yeah. up. You know, and, then you, and so I found myself looking more at the photos and the actual the layout of the house. They say if you're ever going to sell your house, you should take out all the personal photos and yes. just put up pictures of plants. Yeah. I wanted a house with a stage when I was a kid. I was that like, sounds amazing. Like in the basement where you could set up a stage. <gasps> house had to have a stage. Three bedroom, two bath, stage. Stage. <laughs> Ten grand more. Seems reasonable to me. <laughs> I think so. I love that. I'm also obs I'm going to have to check out that. Uh, account. Yeah. Instagram, right? Zillow gone wild. Yeah. Okay. The other social media account that I'm slightly obsessed with right now and that I think over two million people, other people are. Oh, I think I might know what you're going to say. Yeah. You know, we're talking about, of course, NASA recently landed yep. the rover, you know, on the surface of Mars. Yeah. And so the Twitter account now has 2.3 million followers. Yeah. The tweet that really included sort of the black and white image, right, that basically said, hello, world, my first look at my forever home, hashtag countdown to Mars. The account is really fascinating. I mean, they even show um, the, landing the landing tracks, like yeah. what it looked like and what track, what uh, device made what tracks. And it's really fantastic. But then you can also go down the rabbit hole here because people are putting memes of themselves on Mars in like, you know, you know, tracking a, a suitcase across. But it's very funny, but it's also just really incredible to get these views. And here we are, 2021, and we're getting a... And to get them so quickly, right? I know. It reminds me, that image, the black and white image that we just showed, it sort of reminds me when people first got television, right? And you could just, the audio was it, quite fuzzy. And you it's kind of shaky. You barely see it was all black and white. Doesn't this remind you sort of like an old TV image? But it's incredible totally. that this is happening how many billions of miles away? And we're able to see it so quickly. Hashtag countdown to Mars, right, is the hashtag people should follow? Yeah, absolutely. And you can follow the account uh, to stay up to speed with the latest details on the mission. Gosh, you remember when we used to have to get up to turn the television channel? Oh. Actually move out of our chairs? Or I do. Or turn very... on the lights? Yeah. Oh, I still do that. Oh. I know. I'm living in the past. Such a shame. <laughs> So old fashioned. Okay. When I was a kid, I also wanted a clapper. Me too. And a chia pet. You know me with the chia pet. I have one living plant, Derek. You can't even keep a chia pet alive? No. Oh. Mm -mm. I know. I need help. Right? We'll tackle that on another episode, another, another episode. day here at Houston Life. Also, guys, still to come, how skin fluencers are working to change the narrative about acne on social media, ditching those crazy filters. Really? It's about time. They're going to show us... Uh, Real skin. Okay, looking forward to that. Plus, we are learning how to turn your artwork into, I don't know, maybe a little business with a primary paint party. Houston Life will be back in just two minutes.
Okay, guys, Cosmo Magazine is highlighting the latest trend to hit social media, and it's all about real skin. I'm so glad about this because these filters on some, like, on social media, some of these filters where, you know, it's these, like, inflated lips and the eyelashes <laughs> and the, you know, chiseled faces. And the face of the skin looks like porcelain. Porcelain. I, oftentimes, I think these overly, you know, filtered photos they look like paintings they do look like paintings so listen to this hashtags like free the pimple and acne positivity are trending online and skin fluencers are posting unfiltered photos and videos to really help move the movement wow yeah they're calling it a virtual support system for those dealing with normal normal guys skin issues of acne discoloration melasma all of that See, I, I'm so glad they're doing this. Did you happen to see the Today Show this morning? There were a couple moms who were talking about the self-esteem of girls between the ages of eight years old and 14. It plummets by 30%. I believe it. And oftentimes, you know, the images that we're seeing on social media, we see all of these perfect, whatever that means. Homes, hair, faces. Mm -hmm. Children, right. everything. And of course, everyone with Photoshop is going to look a little bit better with makeup and all of that. Right. We don't look the way we do when we wake up in the morning. So I applaud these skin fluencers for just putting it out there. I do too. It's real life. It's what everybody is dealing with. And, um, you know, big brands have done, has done this in the past where, um, you know, they kind of shed away the makeup. Um, Dove was one of them that, that, that did it first. And I, I applaud that because not everybody is made the same yeah. and everybody has imperfections and acne too i remember when i turned 30 thinking yes okay oh, yeah, like no i'm fine no more acne uh, okay for some of us it never goes away i had more acne at 30 than i did at 13. you're kidding no sometimes pregnancy and childbirth totally changes the game too yes people's skin and hair it all changes totally well again i applaud these women for putting too. it all out there and as always we want to hear from you when was the last time you stepped outside your comfort zone and you were glad you did that as always you can post your comments on our Houston Life Facebook page to let us know. I was reading through some of these comments, and already we do have a lot of great comments coming. We're going to share some of them later on in today's show. And some may be inspiring for you as well. Yeah. All right, but first, uh, art is a great way for us to express ourselves, and there's a local spot where even non-artists can express their creativity. Yeah, Joe Sam is on Westheimer near the Beltway at Primary Paint Party, where guests can enjoy paint parties with their friends and family. Hey there, Joe. You know, Courtney and Derek, it's something about art that just makes you feel really good and getting into that creative spirit. We're doing so at the Prime Art Gallery, and we're going to bring in right now the gallery owner, Tasha Felder, to explain to us, when I walked in, the color just takes your mind away. I mean, it is breathtaking walking in here. What makes this gallery so special? I, I mean, aside from the color, it's a place for artists in Houston to just bring in their work they may have created at home, they may have created in their own personal space, and it feels like home for us. It's a place where you can come and touch and see and feel everything. And we're actually seeing some of the artists that are getting to work right now. We right. have this amazing artist right here, and she's one of the paint instructors as well. Tell us what she's doing. So Asha is creating live. She's creating her own piece. Um, it took her about an hour to create this piece. Um, she's an instructor here. She teaches other future creators to come here and paint just as she is. It's really beautiful. It really is. So mm -hmm. that's the whole purpose of this here is really helping the community express their creativity and really showcase the artwork that they can create themselves. Right. And this is a nice space to actually sell that artwork too, right? Very much so. So Very let's much talk so. about that too, how people can actually profit from creating their work. I think that it's, um, as a collector, as an art collector, it's hard to find a place to come and do that. And Prime has created that space for artists and collectors to come together. Absolutely. You know, we're going to get together and make something of our own. We're going to get creative as well. Right. She's going to be showing me how to do that myself, and I may be able to sell that for my own profit. Right, right? here. You bring it to me, and I'm going to sell it you for gonna you. You're going to sell it for me, <laughs> yeah. we're going to put it in the bank. So we're going to have much more happening here at Prime Art Gallery. Some beautiful work that they have in here. We're going to show you guys more of that when we return for right now. We're going to send things back to you in the studio, Courtney Derrick. Okay, Joe Sam, thanks so much for that. The bar, I would say, has been set pretty high. Those are beautiful. Okay, very nice, Joe. We'll see you in a bit. When we come back, are you waking up multiple times per night? It might be time for a new mattress. Details next on the local business helping you choose the right mattress for a better night's sleep. And the latest makeup must have vegan products to help hydrate and enhance your skin, plus a lipstick that is mask proof. That and more when Houston Life returns.
Are you tossing and turning throughout the night, maybe waking up with a sore back? If you're having trouble sleeping, your mattress might be to blame. But there is good news. Texas mattress makers can help you sleep better on a quality mattress that's locally made and will cost you less. But let's say you like a firm mattress and your partner likes a softer mattress. Well, get this. They can create a custom mattress to help you both sleep comfortably. Hey, sleeping better is great at this time of year. It's, it's great all year round. And this would be a perfect gift, a new mattress to the person you love. Absolutely. Now, you know, we've always talked about how people come in and they want to buy a mattress and how it's difficult. We don't sleep the same on the same bed. We just don't. It's a matter of like, okay, you're going to go buy a bed. You and I are going to buy the same bed because there's no possibility. So you have couples who come in and one person sleeps hot, the other sleeps cool. One wants a firmer, exactly. one wants a softer side. Exactly. Surprise. Let me do this. This is a mattress that you would buy. Oh, with a if fancy you kinda, Yeah, we made that all for you. Now, if we flip this, let's start real quickly in the top. If you want something that is a firmer feel, I would provide you with this kind of coil. If your body needs more of a softer feel, basically that you would cush in, get more of a ride in the bed, then I will make you the bed in this coil. Proper support, proper cush to accommodate the curvature of your body, regardless of how you sleep. We will ask you a lot of questions. How do you sleep? Do you have any issues? Do you have any pain? How does your partner sleep? And so on and so forth. And then we will show you the different kinds of mattresses and we will want you to do one thing, just one thing, feel the bed. I want people to know when you're in pain, it's a feel, it's not a thought, it's a feel. Lay down, close your eyes, forget where you are. We do this every day, don't be embarrassed and just lay there and feel. We look at your body the way you conform. If we don't see you straight, if we see your shoulder lower than your hip or your hip lower than your knees and so on and so forth, we will not allow you to buy the bed. It's not about selling you a bed. It's about you getting the proper bed so you can relax and fall asleep and sleep deeply and well so when you wake up in the morning, instead of feeling tired, exhausted and in pain, you'll want to get out of bed and go do whatever God intended you to do today. It's true, when you get a good night's sleep, you wake up ready to face the day. I think it is so cool that you were able to create these mattresses that are essentially two mattresses in one, ensuring that both partners sleep comfortably. Health is your number one priority. We have a saying, your wealth is your health. Sleep is one of the most important things you could ever do for your good health. If you sleep well, which means you're comfortable, all right? You will be healthy. You will spend a third of your life on the surface. Texas mattress makers, manufacturers for you. Sleeping is believing you all. You know I'm a big fan. Yes, you are. I wish I could hug you next year. Maybe next year. And you can get savings of up to 35% off and free delivery on select mattresses. For more information, you can visit texasmattressmakers.com or call 713-341-6252. Courtney, I'm going to send it on over to you. Okay, we love our Texas mattress makers for sure. Okay, since we've started wearing masks almost a year ago, can you believe it? Our beauty routines may have changed a bit. Maybe you've ditched lipstick to avoid smearing when you remove the mask, or maybe your skin is just feeling the winter blues like dryness and dullness where our beauty guru is back with some vegan must-have products to splurge on and a lipstick that won't smear or break the bank. Rona, we always love catching up with you here on Houston Life. Let's talk about our first products that you brought to us today and this is from a line called Shantikai. Oh my God. Hi, Courtney. I'm so happy to see you. Shantikai. Love Shantikai. Shantikai is a brand that's ran by women and it's a family owned business. It's a global company, global company. And what I love, it's plant based, plant based, but they're very philanthropic. So they give back to so many different charities and that just drew my heart right to them. I love the packaging. I think that's what kind of drew me to these different products that we're going to talk about today. And let's jump in because you've had me with rose water. What is this product? Oh my God, the rose water. Oh, where's yours? Can we hold it up? There it is. It's a great mist 
that wakes up the face. It's infused with vitamin C and roses, and it's really refreshing. And if you have sensitive skin, this is really great to tone down the redness in your skin. You can keep it in the refrigerator. You can, um, you know, throughout the day, if you feel like my skin is getting a little tight and I need a refresher, this is the perfect product. It's great. I love that. Okay, girl, Thank what's you. next? Okay. Oh my God, so I am excited to talk about the brows. Now, you know brows, every, I know that women are always struggling with brows. And so we have this brow tint that I absolutely take it out, look at it. And so brows are really in too. I love a good brow. And see, mine are microbladed, but okay. I to have them filled in just a little bit. This, this is perfect. Perfect for when you want to fill in. And I really love dual products as well. And that's going to flow right into our next one, which is the mascara. Why do you love this one? I love this mascara because, of course, as you just mentioned, it's a two-in-one. So it's going to grow your lashes because it has the protein peptides also. And it no alcohol. It gives your lashes separation and your lashes will not feel brittle and dry at all. So I love the fact that, you know, when you hear that it's $72, it's a splurge, it's $72. But if you were going to invest in a lash serum, that's $100 or $125 by itself. So you're getting two in one, and I think this is a must have. It's lovely. Okay, love about you too, Rona, is at the end, you always bring the powerhouse. What are we Oh my God. So I found, oh geez, the lash bar. I went into Target, into Target, and I discovered this uh, vegan matte liquid lipstick that stays on for about eight hours, not drying at all. And guess what? $13.99. So I love a deal. I love a deal. But I also love the fact that it's a minority-owned company ran by this amazing woman. And so I'm all about it. So they have a gamut of different shades. And the names alone, you know, it, it draws you in, like Hot Mama. Um, they have Boy Trouble, Savage. The names are just all over the place. But they're just great lipstick. And it's a great um, way to end your day. Absolutely. Because it stays on. Yes. Perfect. And thanks for upping our beauty game as always, Rona. Thank you, Courtney. This was fun. Thank you so much. Rona always has the best picks. And again, getting back to that mascara, I know a lot of people, their jaws probably drop $72, but there's that, that peptide serum that's also going to help grow your lashes. If you buy a serum, that's about $100 or $120. So, so you this actually is a, save a little money. You save a little money. It's vegan. It's not going to hurt anything. You're not going to have any irritation. So all of the products that she mentioned today um, are all vegan, and that lip is available at Target as well. So. Very nice. I can tell you like that rose water spray. Oh, it's so nice. I'd like to try it. I'm going to bring some in for you. Okay, cool. Absolutely. Also, to connect with Rona, just visit our website. You can do so through there at HoustonLife.tv. All right. Coming up on Houston Life, she made history when she was elected Vice President of the United States. The story behind VP Kamala Harris's visit to Texas Southern University is just ahead. And we're going to get a check of what Keith, Christine, and Frank have coming up for the news at four. That's when Houston Life returns in two minutes. Welcome back to Houston Life. I'm Courtney along with Derek and it's just about 3.30 on Tuesday to think about that for a second. What day is it? Don't even worry. I wish we stayed live during our commercial breaks. <laughs> we say the weirdest stuff to each other. Time now to hear from you earlier. We asked you, when was a time you were glad you stepped outside your comfort zone? We have loved these comments rolling in. Let's get to some of them now. Cheryl says, right now at 53, I became a teacher teaching first grade in a pandemic. Truly the hardest but most rewarding job of my career. Cheryl, that is fantastic. It is. Congratulations. How wonderful. Lupe writes in, in my young days on a trip to Mexico, a friend dared me to parasail. I didn't even um, think that I could, I, or can swim, she couldn't swim, need experience, but would never do it again. That's definitely out of the comfort zone, for yeah, sure. Yeah, I've never done it, but I would love to try. I love the little picture of those corgis, Lupe. Greg writes in, when I joined the Air Force in 1987, I spent 24 years out of my comfort zone. Very nice, Greg. Thank you for your service. Absolutely. Susan writes in, having a baby every day is something and outside of your comfort zone, lots of prayers. Oh, oh yeah. for sure, Susan. What do you think? 
For me, I, I noticed a lot of people on our Houston Life Facebook page were commenting that their stepping out of their comfort zone moment happened when they moved to Houston. And mine is, is one of them. I mean, this was 2016. I got the call about Houston Life and I thought, Houston, wow, that was not part of my life game plan, but I followed that little voice and I went yeah, for it. What I about know. you? Very similar. I mean, I owe it to my mom. My mom's the one that pushed me out of my comfort zone in Chicago, got a job in Midland. She said, go, you got to get on that plane. I almost didn't go. And she's the reason why I'm here today. You had decided you weren't going to go. Right. And your mom said to you, you can always come home. You got to go. That's true. You yeah. almost turned down that job in Midland. Crazy. And Midland, you know, was part of that road that brought you to Houston life. I know. And you and I cross paths that I'm telling you you've got to get that crystal ball Derek I know in Saltwater City I'm sure we passed each other on the we sidewalk had to, multiple times for sure okay we're gonna check in with Keith and Christine and Frank for a look at what is coming up in the news at four Frank I gotta tell you those blue skies behind you baby oh, yeah. the last two days mm -hmm. amazing yeah. amazing very nice very, yeah very without nice. A, you know you guys it's, it's ironic that you're talking about that today because I was looking at the calendar and my memories popped up and today was the f exactly two years ago today I entered Texas Wow. from Colorado. <laughs> Has Cross, it really been that two border. years yeah, been, already? Yep, it's been two years. So it was this next week that I started here with the Channel 2 family, and it was uh, we went to the gala on the green two years ago, Derek. Discovery Green. Yeah. Wow, time flies when you're having fun, huh, I know, time, mm -hmm. time flies and when you're in a pandemic as well. But yeah, a beautiful day. It's good to be in Texas today, right, guys? Mm -hmm. Oh, my gosh, yes. Yeah, the sun, Frank, we'll take it. I, I'm, we're, I'm very happy we're on this side of last week. <laughs> yes. It's February still, amazingly. Yeah. <laughs> and now there are changes to talk about, but enjoy this while we have it. I'll tell you right now, the temperature is about as nice as it gets in February. 80 degrees in Sugarland, 79 for Conroe and Houston, 78 out in Brenham and Huntsville. Down on the island, you're at 67. No complaints. Winds are out of the southeast. A lot of times that brings in a humid flow, but the air actually over the Gulf is so dry that we have a nice a breezy one, but a nice dry breeze. So that's going to continue. If you're headed out for this evening, make sure you put the shades on the dog. 80 degrees a day at 4, 78 at 5, 74, 70. So we're in for a really nice one. This high is bringing in that southeast flow. So I mentioned changes. If you go up here to the north, that frontal system is going to continue to move our way over the next 48 hours. And then it gets here and gets stuck as we move into the weekend. So we have some rain chances. We'll talk about those coming up at 4. But it's a mild, clear evening. We could see some morning fog, especially at the coast. You get these warm Warm temperatures right there in Galveston. It's in the upper 60s. That's a perfect recipe with a southeast flow to get that sea fog moving in. And then the changes start on Thursday. So enjoy tomorrow too. Okay. All right, Frank, thank you. Right. And here's a look at some of the other stories we're following uh, this afternoon coming up at 4 o'clock. We're following a couple breaking news stories. The first one involving superstar golfer Tiger Woods. He's actually in the hospital following a serious car accident that's happened in California. What we're learning about his condition and details surrounding this crash. Also breaking at this hour, several members of the ERCOT Board of Directors are resigning in wake of last week's winter storm power problems. Our Investigates team is on top of this and will bring you the very latest to head at four. And uh, for, for those folks trying to make plumbing repairs from busted pipes, we know there's many of you, there, they know that finding a plumber has been quite challenging. We're going to show you what Governor Greg Abbott has authorized uh, making more plumbers available to people who need them right now. Yeah, so many friends. We know so many people who yeah. are dealing with the same issue. So, yeah. Yeah, it's been a rough few days for a lot of people. Our hearts go out to all of them. Our hearts go out to Tiger Woods and his family yeah. as well. Yeah. Fingers crossed for the best for him. All right, guys, we'll see you at 4 o'clock. So here at Houston Life, we are continuing to honor black history throughout February, bringing you special content from the students at TSU's School of Communication and members of KTSU to The Voice online team. Today's article reflects on VP Kamala Harris's visit to TSU during her campaign stop more than a year and a half before the world knew she would make history as vice president. The article is written by TSU student Brea Walker, who is a multimedia specialist and public administrator graduate student at TSU. Her goal is to brighten the community with her storytelling and creativity. And don't forget to look for another article and Instagram post from a TSU student each day in February on clicktohouston.com slash black history. Very nice. Coming up, a lesson on how to succeed with Bravo TV's million dollar listing star Ryan Serhant and how his story can help you conquer your goals. But first, let's check in with our girl Lauren Kelly about a new coming of age film. Hey, 
Lauren. Hey guys, that's right. Amazon Prime Video just released the map of tiny perfect things last weekend, and I'm chatting with the film stars Catherine Newton, Kyle Allen, and Jermaine Harris about what it was like to be stuck in a time loop while filming the movie. That's when Houston Life returns right after this. Tiny Perfect Things, starring Katherine Newton, Kyle Allen, and Jermaine Harris, was just recently released and is currently streaming on Amazon Prime Video. The story starts with Mark, who is perfectly content living the same day in an endless loop, but his world is turned upside down when he meets the mysterious Margaret, who is also stuck in the same loop. Take a look. First off, have you guys ever had like a, a true deja vu day, something that just keeps happening, or you're like, I've, I've done this before? Yes, I mean, I get, I get deja vu a lot. It's kind of difficult to pinpoint the thing, but when it happens, I think it's really cool. I wish I, I wish I knew what it was, you know. In quarantine, on this time loop, every day feels the same. Yes! I saw this movie on my birthday, and it really set off, like, this magical tone, and it's literally been a year. Yeah, and it's crazy because even after, after we finished, and I've had all this time, to, like, we just did this movie where I didn't know what I would do in a time loop. And then after I finish filming this film, I feel like I'm really in this time loop, and I had no idea what I was gonna do. I was like, dang, I feel like I should have a one-up above everybody else because I just got done doing this, but. So if you were stuck in a time loop, what would be the one thing that you would do, I guess, over and over in the same day? Ooh, a car chase. <sighs> I mean, maybe I would be like, really crazy and like not wear sunblock because even if I got sunburn, it, it would go back to normal the next day. Your wardrobe was pretty simple, right? If you were being stuck in the same day, you didn't have to change it up as much. Uh, we wanted to play around with that. Like, I really wanted a day where she was wearing like a ball gown for no reason. You know, they're kind of like ghosts in this town. So you can kind of take a lot of risks because no one's going to remember it anyway. I liked how we got to drive tractors because you get to play a character that has no consequences so you get to behave as though there's no consequences. So we got to drive tractors like everywhere. <laughs> well, Kyle Allen and Catherine Newton, I really appreciate you guys taking the time. I know you're super busy. The map of Tiny Perfect Things is going to be streaming. I love the characters. And Catherine, you rock the curly hair and the straight hair. I just love it. You're very, very lucky. And, and, and Kyle, you rock the curly hair and the straight hair just as well. Thank you. Thank you, Lauren. Everybody, I hope you love the movie. It's a really, really cute coming-of-age film. I would definitely recommend The Map of Tiny Perfect Things. It's currently streaming on Amazon, Pretty, uh, Amazon Prime Video. It's a great little uh, love story, too. And what a great group of characters, too. I mean, both in the film and just to chat with them. I'm already obsessed with them. I feel like they actually lived kind of that little love story. It was just yeah, adorable. It's yeah. sweet. I really liked it. Yeah. Thanks, Lauren. Thanks, guys. All right, well, turning now from film to television on Bravo's hit TV show, Million Dollar Listing New York, Ryan Serhant is the picture of success in real estate, but the early years of his career were far from it. The Houston native reveals how he made it happen in his new book, Big Money Energy, and he joins us now to share his secrets to success. Hey, Ryan, welcome to Houston Life. Thank you so much for having me. This is awesome. Absolutely. We're so glad to have you. Congratulations on the book. My husband and I love watching Million Dollar Listing. And, and what's so great, I think you need to tell people, boy, your life today is totally different from where you started. Talk to me about being a hand model, first of all. <laughs> you were a hand model? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> well, first of all, I, I, was, uh, I, I am a Houstonian. I was born in Houston. I lived there for a little bit, but I was... Uh, I was born in my house. I think the address, uh, I was a little kid, is 8329 8, Leafy Lane. In Kingwood. Uh, in, in the area of Kingwood. So if someone lives there and they're watching this, I, I was birthed in your house. That um, is crazy. Yeah, but I, I, I bounced around a lot. I think we moved eight times before I hit fourth grade. Uh, I went to high school outside Boston, went to college in upstate New York. And the only thing I was actually really good at was not school, was not sports, um, was theater. And so I gave myself two years in New York to try to make it as an actor on Broadway. Uh, and it definitely did not work out. Uh, and I ran out of money and I paid my rent by hand modeling. I, I held phones, you know, Nespresso capsules, things like that. Um, and people took photos of my hands for, you know, like $150 an hour. 
um, which you know, was enough if you did a couple of those jobs a month to pay my rent, and then I could go off and do my auditions the rest of the time. But I needed to do something a bit more intellectually stimulating than take photos of my hands. <laughs> and so I got my real estate license, and I started on the day that Lehman Brothers filed for bankruptcy. And that's how I got into real estate back in 2008. Okay, and this is an incredible story. The hand modeling part aside, you do look like you have very nice hands, so I can see why you made money doing that. <laughs> but uh, but backing up, so 2006, you moved to New York City. That first year, you made $9,000. That's that's a very low amount of money to survive on anywhere, let alone in New York City. So once you got that real estate license, though, how does this how does this happen? How did you become successful? Because that's quite a career shift. Mm-hmm. Yep. I've always known in my mind uh, that one day I would find success. And I didn't know what success was gonna be like. I didn't know how much money that was gonna be. I didn't know what kind of house that would be, what kind of job it would be. I thought for a while it was gonna be theater. That was my passion. And when it didn't work out, I had a split second of where it felt like a brick wall. And I told myself, you know what? Okay, fine, it didn't work. New York's way too expensive, I'm gonna go home. And at that point, my parents were living in Colorado. And then I said, you know what? No, if I can make it in New York City, I can make it anywhere. And I choose success first. Career can come second. So let me just figure out a way to stay here. And let me just figure something out. I'm gonna say yes to as many opportunities as possible. And I'm just gonna work every single day. And something has to work out if I work every single day. And I got my real estate license, not because I love real estate, like, I don't get excited by, you know, this ceiling. <laughs> I like people. I like improv. I like the deal making. And I saw that real estate had amazing potential. Being a real estate broker, you can sell as much as you want to, and no one's ever going to tell you you sold too much. Mm -hmm. Except I wasn't from New York. I didn't know anything about the city. I didn't know the difference between a condo, a co-op. I, I knew nothing. But I knew that if I was going to do it, I was going to be the best. And I made that determination to myself where I said, you know what? I don't have to be Ryan today. I can be Ryan in the future. And so I literally believed that I could have the confidence today of myself five years from now. I don't have to wait for five years of experience. I don't have to wait for anything. I can go get one suit. That's fine. I can carry myself with the confidence of someone who's experienced. I can carry myself with the confidence of someone who's done a lot of business. And I can present myself with the image of success. And that's going to make me successful. It's going to take time. It's going to take a lot of hard work. But I'm going to present myself as the best because I know that I can be the best. Am I the best today? No. Have I sold anything? Nope. And will I be honest about that? If anyone ever asks me, of course I will. But am I gonna wake up every day excited about tomorrow and what the future holds? Absolutely. And so that's what big money energy is. It's, that's what's what I used to call successful people. I used to say, wow, that person, that person's got big energy. They got big magnetic energy. They've got big money energy. Cause that was something I definitely didn't have. And I definitely didn't have any money. <laughs> and so I, I was not willing to let fate control my destiny. And if real estate brokerage is the way that I am going to find success in life, then so be it. Let's go. Well, I think your story is incredible. And there's something to be said for, you know, that line of fake it till you make it, right? Act the part. Or whether you think you can or you can't, you're right. Having that kind of mentality. And that's what I love about you on the show. I really do think you're the most real man on the show because you're not well, afraid to. You yeah. what? <laughs> It's a definitely a Matt photo on the most real man. <laughs> <laughs> but I, you're not afraid to really show, you know, um, your, your, your fears and what's in front of you. It's not always perfect. And that's what I think is so real about it. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, listen, I, I'm where I am right now. You can see I'm, at, I'm on set here um, doing the interview scenes. Uh, if you watch reality TV and you see, you know, on Bravo, if there's a scene and then it cuts to someone on the show being like, oh, man. So that's what we do uh, for a few hours. And so um, I'm doing that. We're, we're doing Million Dollar Listing season nine right now. And so it'll premiere, I think, in the next couple of months. We've been filming since 2019. 
COVID, you know, yeah. slowed us down quite a bit. So this season will have taken us two years, but it's going to be a lot of fun to watch because it's going to be pre-COVID New York, deal right. making everything, and then cut to black. Everyone grows a beard, trying to save deals on our cell phones. And then you come back to the city with masks. There's no one around. All the restaurants are shut down. What do we do? How do we survive? Right. Um, and it's going to be, and it's very, they're capturing everything. So for anyone that is going to want to watch that and see what, what quarantine and COVID and lockdowns are like in New York City and how people in business, we are listening to season nine. I'll be back. Well, Ryan Serhant, one of the top real estate brokers in the world. The money is called Big Money Energy, How to Rule at Work, Dominate at Life, and Make Millions. It's earned the praise of people like Mel Robbins, Barbara Corcoran, who writes, it's like a mentor for anyone with a big dream they want to make a reality. So, Ryan, thanks so much. And come see us next time you're visiting your childhood home here in Kingwood. I'm going to go see that tree that my dad planted yeah. the night I was born. we got to go get a picture of it somewhere. It's big, I think, by now. <laughs> Great to see you, Ryan. Thanks so much. Big Money Energy is available now in bookstores. And to connect with Ryan, we've shared a link on the Scene on Houston Life section of our website. I'm getting Tom Brady vibes from him. Oh, yeah, a little bit. A little bit, huh? Yeah, very likable guy. Oh, I love him. He's, I'm telling you, he's my favorite on the show. Okay, very nice. I'm going to read the book. Absolutely. All right, now let's check in with Joe Sam, who's getting artsy for a good cause today. Hey, you guys, that's right. Take a look at these beautiful and creative paintings behind me. We're going to be getting creative ourselves in just a bit and throwing some paint around, getting a little messy here at the Prime Art Gallery. And we're going to be sharing some information on how you can come and do this yourselves to express all that art and creativity that you have bottled up inside. Much more coming up here on Houston Life. Welcome back here to Houston Life. We are at the primary paint party. You can already see we have the balloons up here. We're ready to have a party, right? Yes. It's Tasha Felder here. The owner is going to show us exactly how to make some creative artworks. We're turning into Picasso here. That's yes, what we're doing. Yes, yes. Okay. <laughs> so it's going to be really simple. All we're going to do is take one bowl. We're mm -hmm. going to pour out this way. We're going to take another bowl. We're going to pour out that way. And this is just black, what, acrylic paint? It's, just, it's black and it's mixed with a glaze medium, so it makes it really shiny and easy to flow. So we're just going to one corner. Okay. We're gonna two corner. All right. And then this is where the resin pour comes in. So all. Now of this I like is, this. It looks yes. like egg yolks. That's kind of look like my, how my breakfast looks in the morning. I hope the yeah. eggs aren't green, but okay. All right. <laughs> and we just pour. Oh, look at that. Woo! And now we just want to shift the colors out. Now this is something people can learn whenever they come here, correct? Right, right, right. So we do resin pour classes twice a month. Um, they're a little bit more detailed than this. It kind of gives you like a shifting. I was going to say, it's getting a little messy, it's which okay. is what I like. It's okay, we like it messy. <laughs> Look at this. I feel, I really do feel like a, just an artiste. You are. There we go. Yours is beautiful. Look, Look at, at that. that. Look at that. I love it. Something that anybody can do because Definitely. it's really easy. And for people who are looking to come and do this, learn how to do this here. And then you sell them here Definitely. in the gallery so that people can make a profit. What website can we go Primary to? Primarypaintparty.com backslash events. You can pick any class you want. All right, now, I need you to sell this for me for at least... 18 grand. I'm seeing 18 grand. <laughs> 18 grand. Like. 18. <laughs> Got it. We're going to have much more information about how you can get involved here at the Prime Art Gallery and take part in all of their inclusive workshops that they have. All of that coming up and more. Courtney, Derek, wouldn't that, wouldn't you have this in your house? You can see that hanging on your wall, right? I dig the way I'll be it all for went my down. 18 grand check. $18. <laughs> Sold. <laughs> Very nice, Joe. What a cool concept I know. as well. Very neat. I'll have to check it out. After the break, a look at what's coming up on tomorrow's show, including a favorite breakfast staple. We'll be right back. Tomorrow in Houston Life, as we wrap up Black History Month, we're taking you inside the Buffalo Soldiers National Museum. And Lauren Kelly is live with a behind-the-scenes look at how kolaches are made mm. ahead of National Kolache Day. That sounds like a delicious holiday to me. And starting this Friday, we are kicking off the Houston Life prize wheel. Okay, Vanna. I know. <laughs> look, you can enter to win prizes, including some swag from some of your favorite, our favorite NBC shows, or even a gift card to Landry's and all of a sudden we're in Vegas. I know it feels good, right? Your Can dream job. It? Why don't you give it a spin? This is a it test. It is my dream job. Only a test. So there will not be a winner right now, but to 
Doesn't that make a nice sound? Oh, it certainly does. Look at that spin again. Oh, <laughs> just your luck. Off to a great start. You can head to HoustonLife.tv and sign up for our newsletter for your chance to be our big winner. We have seen some of the prizes. It's good stuff. I don't know who ordered the one with the flashing lights, but I'm very excited. I, do I have a head thing that I can wear with feathers? Just wait till you see the fireworks. Oh, I can't wait. Okay. Thanks for joining us today. Yeah, we'll see you back tomorrow. In the meantime, we're going to hand it off to Studio A. Hey, guys.